Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now, if you love drilling as much as I do, and in Space Engineers you feel no different, then I have got the creation for you. Voila! The drill. Master drill, in fact. I don't actually know what to call it, so I'm just calling it a drill for the moment. Piston after piston after piston attached to a drill head to try and dig out a massive straight hole in the ground for me to build a base underneath it. So let's give it a go, shall we? I've only got it to work properly once out about 20 times. And yeah, you might be wondering why that's missing. Every time I spawn it in, there's a chance that this whole thing breaks. So this was the best one I could get. And of course, the actual drill itself is not even... So we're just going to have to try it and hope for the best. Now I will make a quick note that this entire platform is not straight. I don't know why because every time I load it, like I said, something goes wrong and it seems the whole thing just tilts over a little bit more every time I do it. So let's start it up and see how this goes, shall we? Let's bring back my HUD. I don't have a crosshair anymore apparently, but... So there's the drills. Now if we come underneath it, let's just take a quick look. So we've got some drills, we have a gyroscope for some god knows what reason in there. And that is that, if I come all the way up to the top here... Whee! There's some more pointless crap for you to see. Now I have no idea why I built this up here, but if we come up here... Look at that, you have like a little platform to stand on. And like little buttons you can press. This is like my original idea, I was like... If I stand up here, have a button to control the pistons and the drills, I can drill down there and have everything come up to these containers here. That did not go well. No. One, you can't connect that to a moving drill head, and two, you can't have all the pistons firing off at the same time, otherwise the whole drill gets crushed into the ground and breaks. So that's why I had to go with this idea down here and have multiple, blop, multiple buttons. I don't need any of these. All these are just perfectly fine. But let's just drop it down anyway so here we go with number drill now I'll separate these into fives because there's only 75 pistons now hopefully it's actually going to go well as you can see it goes nice and slow the pistons don't go with their full their full length they only go five instead of ten that is just to try and help a little bit lag spike but here we go it's drilling now I will just make one thing quite clear this is well over the block limit and for some unknown reason it completely consumes my hard drive space when doing this so hopefully this is going to record well and not be like the last few recordings i tried to do as you can see it's actually going quite well it's drilling it's drilling quite drilling quite straight so there we go that's the first five let's drop down another piston now when I tried to do more than five pistons at a time, this whole thing would bend out completely. Sometimes even going more than 90 degrees when the drill got stuck. And this was the best way to do it. And if you're wondering how I got the pistons to do it like this, well, you have to build the whole thing upside down, save it as a blueprint, and then flip it when you spawn it. That's the only way you can do it. You can't place pistons on top of each other like that, facing down. You can only do it when they're the opposite way, if that makes sense. So how are we doing with a little hole here? It's getting there. I'll tell you what, it's getting there. So let's just send the next one. Actually, better not. Let's wait for that one to go. Oh, it's wobbling. It's wobbling good. All right, there goes the next one. So how was your day? Mine's been quite awful, actually. It turns out my computer can't really detect the USB ports anymore. I would use the ones on the front. But apparently every time I plug something in there, like a mouse or a keyboard, my computer's like, nope, that's an audio device. We're going to use up all your CPU trying to make audio from this thing. So I have to use the back. And apparently out of the six USB ports I have on the back, only four of them work. And it seems to change every time I turn the computer on, which isn't good. Let's take a little look looky down here. How are we doing? I think that's, that's going quite well, don't you think? That's pretty damn straight. I mean, the whole wire is not straight anymore. I think it is going off at an angle, but if I can activate another one, send the next drill down. So yeah, you see, it's getting a bit choppy now. It doesn't quite like this, but it's going well, I think. It's definitely doing what it should do. 
I mean, it's, it's going down. I could try and use more than one piston, but I'm kind of worried that this is going to fling out and hit the side and break these legs, like so many times beforehand, which you won't see. But it's drilling. That's all that matters. It's making a perfect hole. Well, perfect. Near enough perfect. Let's reverse you. Reverse you. You and you. I mean, it can come quite fast if you use them all at the same time. Oh, it's hitting the sides. This is kind of the problem because it doesn't go straight properly. My previous design had thrusters on the side to try and keep it straight, but that didn't really work too well because it these um, pistons, when they start to bend, will just move it regardless of how many thrusters you have on there, and that is not going to go well, I don't think. That is not going to go... Oh, God. It's hitting all the sides. I should have put drills on the top, actually, just in case. But it's doing well. Oh dear. Oh no. What's happened? Oh, it's up. So if I turn off the drills now. There we go. It's got a little bit of bounce to it. But look at that. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. If I was to build, let's say, like that. Okay, it's not perfect. It's... Yeah, you can see it's a little bit wonky from the shape because the drill's not perfectly straight. But it's definitely... It's definitely got a good angle on it. So if I actually straighten that up properly, it could be a good base driller, really. Alright, shall we just break it? Let's break it, shall we? Alright, we're going to launch these all at the same time. And God help me if this doesn't record. Everything's going. Just go for it. There we go. It's all going. Look at it go. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh God, what's going on? <laughs> oh dear. How are we going to... Oh my God, it's broken off. You can see why I only did five at a time. That's 75 pistons. Oh, oh dear. Oh god. There we go. So that will be the video, I think. Oh god. Hopefully that recorded and didn't mess up. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.